Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, Mrs. Theater here with Heroes for Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. In today's grammar lesson, we're going to talk about present perfect tense. And we've been talking about present perfect tense for a very long time now. We're just going to do a little more talk about the past participle verbs. In particular, now we um, know that a present perfect tense statement demands a past participle verb. And we've looked at that for uh, several weeks and maybe months by now. But I want to put an emphasis on irregular verbs, when those verbs that you're using are irregular. So it's important to know um, and to be familiar with irregular verbs for instances whenever you need to use a statement of this nature. So be, um, before we go into irregular verbs, our past participle verbs, they're going to all be irregular. All of these are going to be irregular. But I want to um, share with you uh, an example of a regular verb really quickly, just so you can remember what a regular verb is. If I say to watch, uh, I watch, let's say, uh, I watch TV. I watch TV. Uh, that is the infinitive sense, or you say the present uh, simple tense. That means it's something I do routinely. I do it often. I watch TV. I eat breakfast. I eat lunch. I eat dinner. I play with my kids. I jump up and down. I teach. I like to sing. I do a lot of things. I watch TV with my kids sometimes. I watch TV. That is the present simple or you can say infinitive tense. Uh, past simple is I watch TV, right? I watch TV. What makes this verb normal is that, or you can say regular, what makes this particular watch regular is that you just add ed to the end of your past simple. Past participle is going to be have or has. Don't forget your auxiliary verb, have or has. So you're going to say, I have watched TV. But even with adding that, the past participle verb is still just add ed. Because the only thing you have to do to um, change tenses with this particular word, watch, all you have to do is add ed. That makes this verb a regular verb. A regular verb, all you have to do is add ed to the end of it to make it uh, past simple or past participle. You just add ed, easy peasy. Unfortunately, not all verbs are regular, right? Some verbs are what we call irregular, which means that to go from one tense to the next, you don't just add ed. You have to actually modify the word. Um, sometimes you may add it, and other times you may just reconfigure the words all together. And so I'm, that's something on the board I want to talk to you about. The uh, very first verb we're going to talk about is to be. That just means um, a certain state of being. I am happy. You know, you are happy. Um, I am, you know, jumping or something like that. So you have to be, uh, to be verb. The example I'll give now is she, uh, let's see, she is happy. That's okay. And the past simple to that is she was. She was happy. The reason we're selecting was is because this is a singular verb, so we have to choose uh, was. Were is if we were plural, if we said they. So she is happy. She was happy. She has been happy, right? So with that being said, we're going to add the word been. She has been happy. She is. She was she has been. Remember with past participle, you have two auxiliary verbs you have to choose from. You have to choose either has or have. 
Whether you choose has or had just depends on if the subject is singular or plural. The same way if you choose was a word, just depends on if the subject is plural. So keep that in mind. Um, to come, so the infinitive, to, uh, the infinitive or the present simple is to come. The past simple is came. I uh, come to the store, or she comes, she will come. Or let's say, I come here often. I came here yesterday. I have come here today. Yes, I have come here today. Uh, what we've done here is we put have because we're, I'm using the first person, I, so we need to use have because that would be the appropriate helping verb to choose, and we just added to come. To come, came, come. Let's look at the next example we have here. To do, so um, I uh, do this, oh, let's see, what is something I do? I do this daily. I did it yesterday. I have done, so the past participle is done, and that is the correct uh, way you write that, that's the correct verb. I have done it. I eat breakfast, I ate breakfast, I have eaten, I have eaten breakfast. Okay, so I make pancakes. I made pancakes. I have made pancakes. So this one is made. M-A-D-E. Made. Are you following me so far? I'm just trying to show you how the, uh, all of these are irregular verbs. I'm trying to show you how they compare, how the, the past participle verbs compare with the past simple and the present simple as well. Uh, infinitive is also called present simple. I see the birds. I saw, past simple is past, I saw the birds, I have seen. These are called irregular verbs because to make them the past, past simple or past participle, you can't just add ed. I can't just say I see, I seed, and I seed. That would not be correct. Just say, I see, I saw, I, I have seen. Um, I make, I made, I have made, I eat, I ate, I have eaten, I do, I did, I have done, I come, I came, I have come, I am, I was, I have been. Okay? Let's keep at it. <clears throat> okay, to take. So I take this to Mary's home, I took this to Mary's home, I have taken. I have taken this to Mary's home. And to write, I write my alphabet. I wrote, past simple is something you did in the past. I wrote my alphabets down and I have written, I have written my alphabet down. So I just wanted to give you this, um, this chart so you can compare regular verbs with irregular. See how many different forms they take. Here you have watch, 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 regular. Here you have do, did, done, irregular, right, irregular. Okay, boys and girls, please take out time to complete the exercise in your workbook. I think it'll give you a little more practice and just make you more comfortable and confident with speaking um, in the past, in the present perfect tense, but especially with an emphasis on irregular verbs because they can kind of fluctuate and change and you want to be familiar with them because we use them often. Thank you so much for coming to class for being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born, I'll be your friend. Don't you?